Here's the problem. We're talking interstellar flight, so we're still at the point where we need to go much faster. There's an issue with how do we go much faster? Because even if we use solar cells and we're able to get further out in, say, what, 50 years we can get out using a solar cell, we can get further, we still need to go much further to actually not just go beyond our solar system, but actually to approach another star. So what Mark Millis is going to be kind enough to do is to talk to us about how do we exploit the boundaries of known physics to go much, much, much faster. Thank you. Um, for starters, uh, the catch on why you can't go faster than light through space-time how do you get it? Well, you play with space-time itself. That's the idea of a warp drive. Instead of moving through space-time, you move a chunk of space-time. Different rules apply. And these things ceased to be just science fiction a quarter century ago when they entered the scientific uh, literature. And um, the little diagram I have as far as trying to convey where we are with this is we are definitely moving from science fiction kind of speculations to the early stages of science of understanding the problem, understanding what are the key questions and issues we need to get to next. And the diagrams there are just two of the uh, leading candidates for faster than light wormholes, which are shortcuts through space and time, and as I said, warp drives moving a section of space time and carrying your vehicle. Um, the other thing I want to point out, and I know you won't be able to read this, but you don't have to, because the point of this chart is when you start looking into these things, there's not just one way to do it, and there's a lot of possibilities that are left to explore. Um, and to go on to the, uh, the blue ones down there, um, a colleague of mine, Eric Davis, this also gives you an idea of the number of different research paths that are being looked into and trying to investigate what will it take to make these things possible. The, how do you uh, obtain the negative energy necessary? Uh, how do you get enough of it to do the effects? Are there time travel paradoxes that are going to be a problem? All these sorts of issues. So as you can kind of see from these diagrams that there's a lot of things that are already kind of chipping away and a lot of uh, ideas that haven't been looked at yet. And the other thing that we've learned in the process of looking into these, the very definition of what is inertia and inertial frame, moving mass through space, um, has not is not part of the finished physics. And so the idea of just moving a vehicle without using uh, rockets, um, even if it's uh, slower than light, there's about two dozen inquiries looking into that. Granted, six of them are already dead ends, but again, there are several paths to look into these to make progress. And I'm not even going to attempt to say which one might be the best because it's way too early to tell. And if you're wondering, well, with all those, how do you get a starting point? What do you look at to work on? And the way that we work this is on one side you have the rigorous foundations of physics and the things that we know. On the other side you have the wishful thinking. And amidst both of those, there's the what don't we understand yet what would we have to critically solve, and where those overlap, those gives us topics that we can actually start working on and make attackable problems. And we are at that state now where we don't know yet if we can create these breakthroughs, but we do know that we can chip away and make progress at it. And for those who want to learn more about this, in 2009, a book was compiled about these things uh, of what are the scientific foundations, what are the challenges we need to solve, and what would be those next steps that you have to chip away at. And um, I have little cards if you want to know more about that book that I can give out. Uh, so that is a, uh, a reference that these things have entered uh, normal scientific discourse. And are they possible or not? I don't know. Um, we'll stand a lot more to learn by attempting to make them possible than if we just wax pedantic. Okay. <laughs>